as the years passed, the little three princesses grew into beautiful young women. One day, the king said, It is time for you to think of marriage. And wedding gowns, and wedding feasts, and wedding balls. Not to mention princes. Yes, princes. And there is the problem. You see, there is a slight shortage of princes this year. A shortage of princes? How dreadful. Most unfortunate. I'm afraid so. There were some very fine princes, but it appears they've all been taken. One was swept up by a cleaning girl. A cleaning girl? Impossible. Of all the nerves. A cleaning girl named Cinder something or other. <coughs> very nice and a hard work worker, too. They say she had only rags to wear, except for a pair of glass slippers. But she took the prince away anyway. Another prince found some enchanted castle. Those are rather rare these days. But you do not do find one every now and again. Seems everyone had been asleep for years, including the king's da daughter, a real beauty. Without even knowing the girl, the prince fell in love, woke her with a kiss. A kiss, a kiss, my word. Of course. You know magic spells. If you can't think of anything else to break them, a kiss will usually do the trick. Anyway, that prince was married before everyone could finish yawning. Another prince fell helplessly in love with a dead girl. With a dead girl? How frightful. Good heavens. She wasn't really dead. Just another magic spell, you see. Her stepmother was a real witch. She couldn't stand the poor girl and put a curse on her. Everyone thought she was dead. She was so beautiful. They kept her in a glass coffin. Good thing, too. The prince wandered by and fell in love. A kiss did the trick. Again, one more prince taken lovely for them, but you see how it creates a problem for us. It's a problem, all right, Blake, but I'd rather not find a prince at all. Not at all? Unthinkable. Have you lost your mind? Not at all. I've never much liked being a princess. I prefer to be ordinary sort of person and work in the gardens. Well, I suppose two princes are enough for any castle. Indeed said. And there's a nice young man who works in the gardens. I believe he would marry me if you said he could. And so they did. Scene three. Well, then June, what of you? Asked the king. Oh, I think I'll put an ad in the paper. An ad, ad in the paper? I'm quite happy being a princess, but I don't want a hassle of searching for a prince. Therefore, I should put an ad in Castle Times. The ad says, wanted, a prince to marry, preferably handsome and rich, must be wise and kind, apply in person to Princess June. Well, it's worth a try. Perhaps. I'm not sure it's wise. Sooner or later, a nice prince will answer my ad. Until then, I'm quite content to wait. Very well, write your ad. And so she did, scene four. It was not long before Princess April returned to the castle with the charming prince. Now then, April, tell us how you found this fellow. It was an easy father. I traveled the north until I reached the castle. Queen and her son lived there, so they wouldn't even talk about marriage. Oh, spend the night and we'll talk in the morning. The room was nice enough, but oh, the bed, I needed a ladder, I needed a ladder to climb into it. And was it ever lumpy? I couldn't sleep, I couldn't sleep a bit. I figured that since I was awake and the prince didn't seem very eager to marry me, I might as well... I might as well move on. So I did. Of course, it was terribly dark out. I couldn't see a thing. I ran into the side of another castle. While I rang the bell, a horrid beast came to the door. A beast? A horrid beast? Shocking. Extraordinary. It was dreadful. You can be sure I didn't stick around to find the prince there. I ran away as quickly as I could in the dark. Suddenly, I splashed right into a smelly pond. A poor frog talked to me. Or at least he tried. He had a raspy voice. Hard to understand. I was tired, frightened, and soaked. I didn't have time to listen to the croaking old frog. That may have been a good time to try a kiss. Oh, yes indeed. Quite so. A kiss? Hmm, I never thought to kiss a frog. Not to worry, my dear, you have a prince now. Do tell us how you got him. Oh yes, in the morning. I want. I wandered farther north. The snow was very deep. I was freezing. <coughs> Not to mention tired and hungry. I almost decided to go home and let my prince find me. Then I saw him. He was so tall, so handsome, so marvelous that I almost didn't notice he was made of ice. Of ice? He was made of ice? Remarkable. Chilling. Indeed. He was enchanted, of course, by a wicked stepmother. 
And you thawed him out? The kiss did the trick, just as you said. As soon as he stopped dripping, we hurried here to be ready. Everything is almost ready for the wedding. While you were away, we worked up a day, worked day and night to prepare your wedding feast of all gowns. Gowns. May has, May has arranged to marry a young man who works in the garden. In the gardens? May's marrying a gardener? It's true. And why not? Of course, he isn't just a gardener, he's a prince as well. With wicked stepfather, curses, and all that. Kiss did the trick once more. We can have a triple wedding as soon as a suitable prince answers June's ad. Ad? Place an ad in the paper for Princess June? Most upsetting. Quite distressing. I've already been through this. A prince? Lower the drawbridge. Hello? 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 Ha! Tricked you, didn't oh. I? Oh! Tom, I'm at your service. Hear about the ad? May I speak to Princess June, please? Why, I'm Princess June, but I'm afraid you're not quite what I was hoping for. You're much too small, and, well, I'm afraid of mice. I'm sorry, but you just won't do. Oh, well, it was worth a try. I guess be off. Good day. Well, it was a very odd little man, only as big as your thumb. His horse was a mouse. I doubt he's really a prince. Oh, there's a bell again. Perhaps this will be my prince. Well, so? It gives one an help. <laughs> Definitely not. The ad must have gone to, to the jungle times by mistake. It was a lion. A lion? Beastly. Beastly. I knew the ad was a mistake. Perhaps you're right. But the lion's gone now. And look, someone else is coming. A man, I hope. A tall and handsome man. Please. Oh, indeed, the, mo the man was tall and handsome. But he was not a prince. I understand you are looking for a new gardener. Actually, I'm looking for a prince to marry me. The man was not a prince, but he was charming, kind, and wise. Well now, you are a very beautiful princess. I would be delighted to marry you, although I am not a prince now. I would be if I married a princess. Marry me, and you shall have your prince. Oh, <laughs> <good time. laughs> From behind the door, the king's queen, servants, and other princesses said, Take him! Oh, take it. Take, take him. it. Take it. <laughs> and so she did. The next day, the castle was full of flowers and wedding guests. The three princesses were full of happiness. The king and queen were full of pride, and the servants were full of relief. It was a marvelous wedding. The three princesses were studying in their wedding gowns of silk, lace, beads, and jewels. The, free, the three princes were dashing in their wedding suits. The feast was delicious. No one went hungry in all the land that day. The dance could not have been better, even though someone dropped a glass of her. It was a, it was a glorious day. As the newlyweds kissed, everyone was certain the three princesses and their princes would, ha would live happily ever after, and so they did. Oh, okay. Ooh.